go to the dichotomous key in the, <coughs> the manual, go to page 29. And um, remember, a dichotomous key, just as it implies, is two things, yes or no. So what we do when we start out with this one, we start out with 1A, and we're asked the question, are the cells solitary or grouped in irregular clusters, not forming mucilaginous colonies, cells ovate or cylinder? And of course, is the answer yes or no? And the answer is no. If it was yes, we would probably have a unicellular synecococcus. Those questions could be answered. So we go down to 1B, cells organized in a mucilaginous colony or in trichomes. <clears throat> What's the answer? No. Yeah, a, tri a trichome is um, a trichome is a filament. So this yes. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> and then we go to two A cells in few to many celled colonies. The answer is no. Uh, cells arranged in trichomes or filaments, the answer is yes. So we go to number 16, and 16A asks, trichomes with heterocysts, and of course these are our heterocysts, right? Okay. So then we go to 17, Mature heterocysts at the end of the trichome or the terminal, in other words, at the end of the filament. The answer is no. So then we go to 17B, mature heterocysts not at ends of trichomes. In other words, that's referred to as intercalary or in between. So the answer is yes. So then we jump down to 20. Cells compressed disc-shaped sheath generally visible. Um, under here it's a little bit hard to see whether we have a sheath. We really, we have a very small sheath is what we have on these. Um, and the cells are not compressed or disc-shaped, they're more round. You can see that. Disc-shaped would be like that lingvia where they were really compact and much longer than wide. And in the case of nodularia, if I had nodularia, which is what this is headed towards. It literally would be like you take one of those uh, exercise balls and you sit on it and you just kind of change the shape. It becomes more oblong than high, kind of squished. And so that would lead us to nodularia. So actually then we're going to go down to uh, 20B, cells spherical, barrel-shaped, or cylindrical. And of course that's what they are, cylindrical. They, if we could see these, they would be slightly barrel-shaped as well. So, <clears throat> yes, so we go to 21, clumps, forms clumps of tangled trichomes surrounded by copious thick mucilage. Um, of course, the answer is no, because we've got a straight filament here. Copious thick mucilage not present, yes, so we go to 22. Cells generally spherical or barrel shaped, end cells not elongated, so what we have to do here is go to the end of the filament and um, if we had like an oscillatoria or even an aphanosomenon, aphanosomenon is a better example, the end cell is actually kind of, it's not roundish like this, but has a kind of an end to it. It's kind of almost not real tapered, but roundish end, like you smoothed off the end of it. So that's what we would say end cells not elongated, heterocysts evenly distributed. Unfortunately, in this one, we only got one showing, but I think when you were looking at them, they were more or less evenly distributed along the filament. So the answer is anabina. If the end cells had been elongated, then of course we would probably have a phantosomenon. Anyway, that's how you use this dichotomous key. And of course, it tells you anabina is both a <coughs> taste and odor, TO, and a toxin producer, TX.